there. Welcome to Step by Step Stories. Hopefully you've had a chance to listen to the read aloud story about doing your laundry. Doing all your laundry is something very important. Usually parents do it, but if you're by yourself or if you are um, ready, willing, and able to help your parents do the laundry, definitely something that you can help out around the house with. And what is it? Laundry is cleaning clothes that have been worn. Oops. Been worn or I'm going to say the word soiled. Okay? It's because clothes, very rarely do our clothes actually get dirty these days, I feel. All right, but if you have worn your clothes, you have definitely got germs, you've got sweat, you've got particles from just living your day um, on them. So it's definitely important that after you wear your clothes, that you put them in a laundry basket. And then usually once a week, your parents or yourself can do the laundry. All right, clean clothes, very important every morning and it's important to change them often so when it's time to do the laundry number one you want to make sure that you are prepared and in order to be prepared before you start you need to have soap you need to have your clothing sorted and you need to have a little bit of time okay even though you're not technically doing the laundry when you turn the washing machine on it's important to be around when the washing machine and for that matter any machine is going on just because if there's a malfunction if there's a leak if something goes a little bit weird on you you are there to make sure that you can problem solve and help prevent a huge mess, okay? Or something dangerous from happening. Happening. So make sure you have your soap, your clothing sorted, and you have time to be around and do your thing while the laundry machine is doing its thing. So let's talk a little bit about sorting. Because this is a little bit of controversial topic in some households, our household for one. Some of us feel, you know what, soap is amazing, throw everything in, be efficient, get her all done. Technically important to sort, okay? So for sorting, you need darts, okay, here's an example, little sock, okay, you need Lights, okay, so lights are anything that is pastel -y colors, silver, white, anything like this, okay, are the lights. And then your last one, which I find the trickiest, are your mediums, okay? So your mediums are kind of not the darks, not the lights, okay? I like to think of mediums are things that have sort of a little bit of everything. Oops, a little bit of everything in it. Okay, so this shirt over here, it's got a little bit of dark in it. It's got a little bit of white in it. It is gray. I would put it in the mediums. Once you've got your clothes sorted, do start off with the lights first. I don't think technically it makes a difference, but for the sake of having a little bit of a routine, I would suggest lights first, then mediums, and then finally the darks. Okay, once you're ready, then it's time to get your little self and your clothing set up. So you wanna start off with your lights. I'm gonna put an arrow over here. Okay, you want to open up your machine and you want to put in your clothes. Okay, and I'm going to put sorted clothes. Okay, 
Okay, then you want to put in your detergent. Okay, and I've got two samples here. Okay, one is kind of like these little prepackaged detergent um, pods. Another one is liquid detergent, which you put in a cup and just kind of put it in your machine. Okay, if you want to be really old school, there are also powder detergents. All right, they all work the same, but you want to put your detergent in, you want to close the door, obviously, and you want to choose what cycle. Okay, sometimes the clothes that you're putting in need to be very delicate, so you want to choose a delicate cycle. Most clothes, especially um, the clothes that we wear on a day-to-day -day basis, really you can just put it on a fast wash and have it done with it, all right? Saves a little bit of energy, gets the job done, and it doesn't keep your clothes moving and grooving for a long time, which I feel sometimes kind of probably breaks down the, uh, the fibers a little bit more quickly, all right? Biggest thing though, when you are done, when your laundry is done, Try your very, 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 very best to put it away. Okay. We'll talk a little bit about using a dryer another time, but once your laundry is washed, it's dry, it's folded, best thing to do is to put it away so that your room stays tidy and you are all set for the rest of the week. Take care, thank you, and have yourself an awesome day. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook, and uh, thank you. Bye now.